Good evening, good evening, Uncle Montu. It's another evening. Hate me or date me, talk. Mr. Messi, Zayti Trolley Pusha. Yo, little call my paro amatama. Yeah, I got a thought tonight once again. This thought says, go inside. You, you know I don't prepare. Ne? So if I bash you, be bashed. If I impress you, be impressed. If I assist you, aid you, save you, be saved. Okay, let's get started. Go inside. But go inside for what? The whole world has fake lovers that are coming after you. The whole world got fake friends that are coming after you. But above all, the whole world got these perishes that are coming after your soul. They will rip you to pieces. They will destroy you. They will annihilate you. They will not give a damn about you. You come with those heels, you can't walk. Your bums are going left, right. <laughs> so what's going to save you? Uh, you're not fit. What's on my fault? I don't know what my fault is in English. Uh, you know when you are a little overweight and your thighs are rubbing against each other. Maybe it's my fault. They call that my fault in in Sepedi. People will laugh at you. People will not sympathize with you. People will not give you uh, a videotape to learn how to train to produce that kind of fat. People will simply disparage you. People will simply destroy you. People will laugh at you. People will seek to destroy your resolve. So, Messi says, go inside. In other words, if you have a vision, if you have a dream, number one thing, go inside, lay a super basement, lay a super foundation, know who you are. They have said it over the years, thousands and thousands of years. Know thyself. And it's not to say that once you've found your, your exit, once you, you've certified yourself a, a, a no give a no give a damn kind of mind, people will still not shake you up. Just when you say, I'm standing, they will come and test you and see. <laughs> How is he standing? Just when you say you are Mr. Brave, Mr. Brave, Mr. Courageous, they will come and say, let's see about this fake bravery of yours. I do not need people to be playing their videos while I'm shooting this video because I flip. I do not need people to be playing their Instagram videos while I'm shooting this video because me, I flip. You know what I'm saying? I need total silence. Okay, let's continue. Go inside. So, just as you think I'm standing, I'm firm, I'm strong, people will come after you. They will say, let's see how he's standing. So, that's why I say go inside. Know or develop that irresistible armory inside you, that impenetrable, impenetrable spirit inside you. Just know whatever the world will give, if, they give, if the world gives 99, I'm going to give 100. If the world gives 100, I'm going to give 101. I'm ready to fight back no matter what. So... Some of you, um, as I'm talking now, you're going through some serious issues, serious personal issues, sorrows, grief, self-development issues, self-esteem issues, but yet you have the faith. You have the belief. Number one, you are alive. Ula. You've not died because you're going through issues. So as you stand, now I encourage you to stand from deep within. Don't be shallow. Don't be looking outside for answers. Go inside. Remember they say, God is the life in your breath. The very man that made the universe, the very man that made heaven and earth, the very man that made you and I, with one powerful and mighty hand, is capable of making sure that your strength within is powerful and always strengthened. So when I say go within, it means you are going straight 
to your to your anchor you and your almighty you and your god you and your entire army of angels stand and face whatever the challenges whatever the the situations that may be hampering your development you are saying I will fight. You problems that come at me, I will see between me and you. You foes that come after me, I will see between me and you. Yes. Let us see whose father is stronger. Is your father Lucifer stronger than my father Jehovah? Who will win? So, and it is, it is because you and I know that the human spirit is the most powerful weapon of all. It is because we know that, that we will be doing that. We will be looking within, without doubt, without fear. It is because of that reason that we'll be looking within and know that when we go within, we stand to win this battle. But why not stay within? Why not from the beginning, maintain that capacity, maintain that diligence, that awareness that I have to fight this war from within. I have to, to keep strong from within. I dare not waver. I dare not flow with the palms and the vanities of this world. Why do we fail to do that? It is because life is a drug. Life is a pool of trends. And sometimes we do get a little excited. Sometimes we do give a little too much of ourselves. And in the end, in doing that, lose ourselves. We do move at times without our God. We do make decisions without our guardian angel. Spare of the moment type of decisions. And we get caught out. And so now here you are. You are caught out. Here you are. You are caught up. You are hit. And you know very well. Horror. No matter how many friends you'll call upon when days are dark. You won't have no one standing there with you. There will be very, very few if they are there. And so the challenges that you're going through. The trouble that you're going through. The goals that you have. The yearn that you have to find and make a success of your life, of your dreams. Mr. Messi is saying, please, 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 please. Look within. Come out with that spirit of, that indomitable spirit. Come out with that extra resilience for any problem that you may be facing. And be prepared yet. Be prepared to still fight. Be prepared to encounter all manner of resistance, but know that the spirit that you are coming out with, the resolve that you found from inside when now you are deciding, Horror, I will not be stopped. I will not be pushed over. I will not be deterred. Trust that that, that, that spirit is going to be your winning spirit because you go front of that spirit miles ahead of that spirit it's a prayerful mind it's a prayerful heart and you can't go wrong with prayer my friend because all prayers all of our prayers have one destination and it is he who decides all right this is how this whole piece of the puzzle is going to work out in the end and he makes it work out to the genuine of, of spirits. He doesn't make it work out for, for fools. He doesn't make it work out for people that just come after your blood, after your innocent blood. So go within, tell your Lord, tell your spirit as we move now. Number one, we cleanse ourselves. Number two, we empower 
re-empower the baby inside our innocence. We arm our... You know the spirit of youth? That spirit that loves everybody, loves the environment, cares for everybody, wants to see if the grain is going to successfully cross the street. You arm that person, you arm that human that saw no evil, had no evil, feared no evil. You rearm all your soldiers that told you when you took steps, even if they were risky, they told you that, don't worry, we got you, we'll be there with you. Most essentially, you arm your spirit of worth. You arm your value system. You correct your heart. All the false decisions, all the I don't give a damn mentalities that you, you, you got stuck in your head. All, all the I don't give a fuck type of my, my mind, mind states. You eliminate them. Now you go with the, the, the founding instruction, the fundamental values that you were raised with, that God armed you first with. You move back now and say, okay, guys, guys, I'm ready for you. My weapon is my talent. My weapon is my prayer. My weapon is my resolve to accomplish and to overcome all these circumstances that I'm facing. And above all, I am determined to live and live a beautiful life. Are friends there? Are your foes there? Is your family there? Are your detractors there? No. It's just you. you went inside, reinforced your determination, reinforced your devotion to life and your commitment to living and having a successful, healthy, and valuable life. And you attack back. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I can talk all night. I run the day. The overlying concept here is do not abandon your values. Do not restrict your worth. Look around you. There's too many sources of inspiration. Look around you and say, all right, where can I start? Where can I send my hands? Where can I invest my mind and the little energy that I have? Have that area as your, your starting point, your, what's the word? Your point of initiation. You know what I'm saying? Your, the, an area where you conceive or you, you base your worth. Where you base your commitment to society your devotion to serving humankind. From that area, it's going to be very, very easy then to depart and look out for bigger opportunities, look out, look, look out for new opportunities, or feed from others to emboss this particular thing that you started. And from it will grow a small tree, a bigger tree and a giant tree. And as I say, by going inside, you're making sure that that tree does not forget its source of life. That tree is always remembered and blessed by those who 
stuck its seat in the soil from day one. Thank you so much. Good night. Hate me or date me talks. We continue again tomorrow.